There's pressure mounting on D.C. Mayor Vincent Gray to either sign or veto a bill raising the minimum wage for big box retailers. Walmart has threatened to scrap plans for new stores if this bill is signed, and that's left one shopping center and one of its few remaining retailers in limbo. Sam Ford is in southeast D.C. with the story. Will the mayor sign? Will the mayor veto? At Skyland Mall, where most of the stores closed for expected redevelopment years ago, Sam Franco and his discount mark defiantly hung on. And with Walmart now threatening to drop plans to build here, Franco may be able to stay open longer. Maybe we can keep this one open until they say it's, you really need to go. The bulldozer is coming next week. Walmart didn't originally want this location, but at Mayor Gray's urging said OK, and that's one reason Franco thinks that the mayor is going to veto. He has to veto this bill because if he doesn't veto the bill, Walmart will walk. And if Walmart walks, then nothing's going to happen to this property. The mayor's under major pressure from all sides on the council's bill to raise the minimum wage for big stores like Walmart to $12 an hour from 8. Labor loves it, but today Gray received a letter from six big retailers telling him to veto or for them, any future plans for retail expansion in the city must be revisited. Outside Skyland today, the debate continues. It'll help the D.C. residents to get jobs, you know what I'm saying? It'll take some of us off the street to help us with, with our family. Yet another resident supports the council's vote. But a person with a family of two cannot live off of $8 an hour. It's just impossible. I mean, do the math. Come on. You got Pepco, you got gas, you got rent. You can't live off of that. No, seriously, this is not a joke, and this is a damn shame that Walmart won't be so cheap. A mayor ve mayoral veto would kill the council's bill unless the council members could flip one of the mayor's voters of their way and override the mayor's veto. The mayor says that uh, spokesman says that he will announce this week whether he plans to sign or veto the bill. Meantime, retailers like uh, Sam Franco will continue in business at the discount mart as he has for the last 38 years. Reporting live from Southeast Washington, Sam Ford, ABC 7 News.